A card that will stand the test of time and find itself in many different decks, one that encourages experimentation. That is what we have in Fastos. But who is this master technologist of the Eternals? Well, like his fellow Eternals, Fastos was created by the cosmic gods the Celestials a million years ago and has looked after humanity since. He possesses superhuman attributes just like his fellow Eternals, but focuses his energies towards his genius level intellect in technology, invention, and engineering. In ancient Greece, he was a weaponsmith and often mistaken for the Olympian god Hephaestus. In the modern age, when the Eternals went public as superheroes, Festos actually adopted the codename Ceasefire. In Marvel Snap, Festos is a 3 energy, 3 power card with the ability on reveal. Give each card in your deck negative 1 cost or plus 2 power. So immediately you got a thing. Alright, Surfer decks, right? He's a 3 cost that will either buff or discount your other cards in the deck. And hey, you're never gonna complain about negative 1 cost or plus 2 power. He does, however, mess up the Surfer archetype curve a little bit. I mean, what's the best Surfer play? Brood on 3, Abs Man on 4, right? While with Fastos, that becomes a little bit more tricky, so you might want to use magic for that extra turn. And Festos benefits from an extra turn anyway, right? That means one more turn to draw a discounted or buffed card. Now, the downside to his ability though is that he's a card you want to play on curve because the later you play him, the less value you get out of him. I mean, his ability is pretty much useless on the last turn of the game. Now, even though the surfer archetype is the most obvious, I actually think he can fit into a lot of other archetypes as well. Like I said, you're never going to complain about that negative one cost or the plus two power in your cards that are in the deck, right? Even if it's an either or situation. How about Fastos in a Thanos deck? Hey, suddenly the stones are either free or have plus two power. Nothing to scoff at. Fastos comes to the spotlight cache with Spider Ham, a series four card, very disruptive. Good to have, but you don't need. And Corvus Glaive. Ah, he's a series five card and a key component in the Hella Blink discard style of deck. Definitely a good pull if you don't already have him. Wait till you see this. I think given time and a lot of experimentation, Fastos will be one of those cards that pops up in many different archetypes and decks. So personally, I think he's worth spending tokens or keys on. It's kind of fitting with the law of the character as well. 